He is known for being an Irish-American novelist who fought in the Mexican-American War. Recognized for his numerous works on American life, he vividly portrayed colonial policy, the horrors of slave labor, and the lives of American Indians. Captain Reed, an admirer of Lord Byron, wrote adventure novels set in various locations including the American West, Mexico, South Africa, the Himalayas, and Jamaica. His name is Thomas Main Reed. In the world of literature, there was one name that stood out, Thomas Main Reed, an Irish-American novelist whose tales of adventure captured the hearts of readers. Born in Ireland, Reed later found himself drawn to the allure of the American West. Inspired by the likes of Lord Byron, he embarked on a literary journey that would leave a lasting impact. Reed's novels were a window into the harsh realities of American life during his time. Through his words, he painted vivid pictures of colonial policies in the American colonies, exposing the horrors of slave labor and shedding light on the lives of American Indians. His works resonated with readers who craved thrilling tales of danger and heroism. Similar to renowned authors Frederick Marriott and Robert Louis Stevenson, Reed took readers on thrilling adventures across different landscapes. From the expansive American West to the exotic lands of Mexico, South Africa, the Himalayas, and Jamaica, his stories transported readers to far-off places, igniting their imaginations. Thomas Main Reed's literary contributions were not only entertaining but also significant in the field of literature. His novels shed light on important societal issues and captured the spirit of exploration and adventure. Reed's legacy lives on, reminding us of the power of storytelling and its ability to transport us to worlds beyond our own. In the late 1840s, Thomas Main Reed, known then as the Poor Scholar, arrived in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He began his writing career, penning prose and poetry for the Pittsburgh Morning Chronicle. Working as a carrier for the paper, Reed displayed his talent and creativity. His earliest verifiable work was a series of epic poems called Scenes in the West Indies. Seeking new opportunities, Reed moved to Philadelphia in early 1843. For three years, he worked as a journalist and periodically published poetry in various magazines, including Godey's Ladies Book and Graham's Magazine. During this time, he crossed paths with the famous Edgar Allan Poe, who found Reed to be a captivating storyteller, albeit with a penchant for exaggeration. In the spring of 1846, as the Mexican-American War began, Reed became a correspondent for the New York Herald in Newport, Rhode Island. He also adopted the pen name Ecolier, in addition to the poor scholar. Joining the 1st New York Volunteer Infantry as a second lieutenant in November 1846, Reed embarked on a journey to central Mexico in January 1847. He chronicled his experiences in sketches by a skirmisher, published in the spirit of the times. During the Battle of Chapultepec on September 13, Reed displayed great courage and leadership but suffered a severe thigh wound. For his bravery, he was promoted to first lieutenant. After resigning from the army in 1848, Reed returned to New York and staged his first play, Love's Mark. He also published War Life, an account of his army service. In 1850, Reed ventured to England with the intention of volunteering for the Bavarian Revolution. However, after crossing the Atlantic, he changed his mind and returned to his homeland of Ireland. Eventually settling in London, Reed published his first novel, The Rifle Rangers, in the same year. This was followed by a series of successful novels based on his adventures in America, including The Scalp Hunters, The Desert Home, and The Boy Hunters. Despite his achievements, Reed's extravagant lifestyle and spending habits led to bankruptcy in 1866. He was discharged from bankruptcy in 1867 and decided to return to the United States, hoping to replicate his prior success. He founded the Onward magazine in New York City, continuing his writing career. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.